Hello, everybody. My name is Sandra. Welcome to The Funky Pickle. I'm so glad you're here today. I have got a great haul video to show you. I don't usually pay a lot of money for the stuff I get. I am a part-time eBay seller since 1998, and I'm also a collector. So please stick around. I think you're going to like some of the stuff. This is one of the best pieces I've gotten in a long time. Just look at this. This one really speaks to me. This is incredible. I've only ever seen jewelry like this that's a brooch, but this isn't. This is actually a necklace. It's on this lovely long, long chain. And this was in a little thrift store and it was $5. And I was very glad to give them $5 for this. Isn't that fabulous? I'm just going to check. I don't think it's marked, but let me look. Hold on. All right. It is not marked, but man, that one is fantastic. So this is an awesome ring. It says 1968 Gross right on it. Let me zoom it in for you. So it says Gross Germany 1968. And I believe that Gross worked for Christian Dior. But this is an awesome ring. It sort of has this nugget look to it. It looks really like it's real gold, but it isn't. So when you look with a loop, a lot of times you can see where the gold has worn off. So you look at the places where somebody would have really held it or grabbed it or like you can see right here on the ends i don't know if it's showing on my camera but there's a little loss of the gold anyhow that's one of the first steps i always take in trying to determine if something is real gold they'll usually be wear spots but this is a beautiful ring and um let me see if it fits me let me try it on so that's really cool that sort of has a brutalist avant-garde kind of nuggety look to it that's a great item and i paid two dollars for that so a lot of times people really overlook necklaces and beads and this was with a lot of cheap looking plastic beads i said to myself i said self is that real garnet and it turns out they are garnets i don't know what something like this is worth i paid two dollars for this in the thrift store this is really a great looking necklace, I'll tell you that much. I don't know how old it is, so there's no clasp. But this is pretty spectacular. For $2, real garnets. Yeah, count me in on this one. I'll hold it in my hand so you can get a better look. It's a beautiful little necklace. So I bought this necklace for $2 too at the same thrift store. Now, I have no idea what this is. This is really my weakest suit is not knowing stones and what this is. I, I figured those were garnets and then I checked it out on my gem tester and those are garnets. But this, I have no idea. This is an older clasp. This could be from the 40s or 50s. And anyway, I thought it was beautiful. It's certainly real. It's cold to the touch. And you see each bead has a knot between it, which is sometimes a sign of a better piece. And that just keeps the beads in place. But how beautiful is that? Is this, that's not moonstone, is it? Does anybody know what this is? I'm just not sure. I know that it's beautiful. I love that the beads are very sort of, the colors and the beads are irregular and they're very iridescent. So that's super cool. If you know what it is, please let me know. I, I have so much to learn always. You can never know everything. So please tell me what these are if you know. I know that they're beautiful and I'm, I just love this necklace. So I got this show horse. He was $1.50. I think he's just magnificent. Look at those stones. It's very nicely made. You can see how nicely made that is, right? That's beautiful. Not missing any stones. He has a nice red eye. I just love the whole form of this. The way he looks, you know, he looks like he's he's mid-trot. That's wonderful. Well, I got most of this jewelry a couple of days ago. And this was $2 also. These are killer. Look at how gigantic these earrings are. These are such great 1950s earrings, and they're in very good shape. They're not all scratched up, right? This is just glass, so it scratches like glass would scratch. If somebody had this in their, in their jewelry box, I guess, and they took really nice care of these wonderful, wonderful earrings. I got this brooch because I thought it was just sort of weird. It's like fish bones. Isn't that fun? I don't know. I thought it was cool. Does he go like this, like this or like... Yeah, I guess it would have to be like this, right? So that's really cute. 
So here's a Lucinda pin. This was 50 cents in a thrift store. I like buying Lucinda pins. And then when I have a bunch of them, I lot them up and I sell them on eBay. They're not really worth a ton. I know they're special ones. I think I maybe sold one for $20 once. But in general, if they're a dollar or less, I get them and then I lot them up and I sell them. That's actually really cute though. I love her parasol. So here's kind of a weird flower brooch. It's it's not really in great condition, but it was 25 cents and I could not resist it. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like the way the stem is curved and also that is quite 3D. So I got these two weird copper rings. These were a dollar each and there's no signature inside, but that's actually a cool looking ring. And this one's cool too. This kind of like has the whole pimp thing going on. I like this a lot. This is really fun. This may only be copper plated because I can kind of see a different color underneath this. But I thought those were pretty cool and the price was right. I'll just put those with my copper jewelry collection. So I found this little elephant. This was $3 and this is sterling silver and jade. And believe it or not, this is Avon. Yep, yeah, you can see that, right? Avon 925. This is such a sweet elephant. I love this little pendant. It's so little too. Just really has a nice feminine look to it. I didn't see where these earrings said sterling, but I would really be surprised if they were not because they sure look real. This pretty, these nice reposé earrings. So reposé just means that they do the design from the other side. So they take this thin sheet of metal and then they push it out. Of course, this is just put in a mold or something. This isn't hand done. Really swirly, really great. The sort of Art Nouveau look. Those are awesome. So I bought a bunch of Lennox and Gorham jewelry a few weeks back and I went back to the thrift store and they had a couple more pieces. Now check out this ring. This is sterling. It does say sterling on the side right there and it is marked Lennox. And that is just a beautiful CZ and it's heart shaped. How pretty is that? And look at the little bows here on the shoulders. Isn't that the greatest ring? I love this. I'm sorry it's too small for me. That's a beautiful ring, and that was $2. Here's another $2 pin. I love circle pins, and this is marked 925. You can probably see it right there, right? Sorry, it's blurring out a little bit. Did you see it right there? This is so pretty. Those are not real pearls, but those are sweet little marcosites. I thought that was a darling little pin. And I also got these little earrings. These were $2. I got these at the same place I got them. Actually, most of these things I got in the same place and everything was basically $2 or, or a dollar. Some things were a dollar, a couple of things were more. They have a case and they let me, you know, they open the case for me. But these are beautiful, I love these. Those cool, great earrings from the 50s. I love buying old religious medals. If they look old and interesting, I just, I always buy them, and this one is marked sterling. I'm not sure where it says it, but I know I did see it when I was at the store today. That's very pretty. I like to buy these, and then I lot them all up, and I know they always go to a really good home. It makes me happy. I thought this one was interesting because it has this cloth touched to a relic of the saint. Isn't that nice? So I guess that's what St. Anne I thought that was an interesting religious item. Now this one, this is really nicely made. I don't know who that is. It looks exactly like my dad though, I'll tell you that much. Anyway, I'm not sure who that is. If you know, just let me know, I'm just curious. I guess it's, it must be a Pope, right? This is a very nicely made pendant. So I got this. I bet you most people know what that is, right? Let me put it down. So this is a cute little heart pendant and that's a uh, lucite and that is a mustard seed inside. I guess mustard seeds also have some sort of religious significance. I'm not sure what it is. I don't know if it means birth or life or something, but I know that people find comfort in mustard seeds. I think this was a big thing, you know, more than a hundred years ago. This one is newer, of course. It's just like a revival one. I thought that was different. 
I got a little bit of sterling. I got these dancing bear earrings. I thought maybe these were the Grateful Dead dancing bears, but I don't think they are. But those are marked right there, 925. These are in great condition. And I also found this great sterling silver cocapelli pendant. Look at him. Isn't that interesting? He's kind of a cool 3D pendant. And it is marked sterling somewhere or other here. How cute is this? I love Trafari. This is obviously not old Trafari. But look at that umbrella with those hearts. I think that's so sweet. And it is new in the box. That's just darling. So I got this necklace because it's a Chico's and I know sometimes that can sell for a little and I think I paid $3 for this necklace and I did want a tassel for something. I was thinking about maybe just buying it and taking this tassel, but now I can't remember why. But I remember saying to myself, next time you find a necklace with a good tassel, I need a tassel. Anyway, this is a pretty cool item. This Chico's right there. It says Chico's here too. Modern necklaces usually will have this lobster claw catch. I believe that was invented in the 90s. So if you see something like this, you know, unless it was replaced, but you can kind of just use that as a guide when you see that that is not a really old piece. You know, it's a newer piece, most likely. This is quite an interesting statement necklace. It almost looks like it's got an Egyptian vibe. Very nicely made. It's in perfect shape. I got this other Chico set. Check this out. This is like fake Druzy, I guess. It's supposed to look like Druzy, right? But how cool is this? And it came with the earrings. And it was, I, pay, I think I paid $5 for this. But this was something else that I just thought was really nicely done, really statement-y. That's very cool, isn't it? I love that. It's a little bit off center. Hold on, let me fix it. Ah, that's much better. This hangs nicely. And it's so great that it also comes with these matching earrings and look you can kind of see through them a little bit too that's pretty nice very nice here's another fun necklace that was two dollars i'm not sure who this is does anybody know who this one is i'm not sure it doesn't look like it's particularly well made or anything but i had my eyes on that tassel for that item that I can't remember, but I know I was in need of a tassel, so I'm not sure. I might sell this or I might just use that tassel. I'll tell you one thing, there's a beautiful chain on this and it's very, very long. It's like flapper long. So I thought um, if this doesn't sell or if nobody wants this, I'll take that tassel and I will take that necklace part. Look at these cute little earrings I got for $2. Check it out. Of course, these are sterling, and that is reconstituted amber. How cute are they? I love critter jewelry so much. These are so cute. These are just the cutest little bees. Don't you love those? Adorable. Oops. <laughs> So here's a newer piece of Monet. There's the hang tag for it. How Liz Taylor is this elegant necklace? And it's brand new and it was $2. Didn't the Titanic, the movie, have a necklace that was sort of like this that belonged to Rose? That's completely fictional, of course. There was no Rose and there was no necklace that got lost. Well, I'm sure there were many necklaces that got lost in the Titanic, but you know what I mean. This is beautiful. Boy, if you if you wore this, nobody would know this wasn't real. I got this adorable little bracelet. How much do you love this? Isn't this cool? This is abalone shell, and it's pale on one side and darker on the other, as you can see. I love that little toggle clasp. I thought this would be pretty to wear, and it's very, very light, so it would be very comfortable. And I think I paid a dollar for this one. If I keep forgetting to say what the prices are, nothing was a lot. I always love buying pins like this. Sometimes they end up being worth a bunch of money. I don't know what organization this is. I'm not sure. Is that an ELB or an L E I? I'm not sure what this is. Anyway, this is just a cool old pin. So I bought this necklace and I'll tell you why. So this doesn't look old, right? This doesn't look old at all. 
But once I got up here, I started thinking this is really a different color. I don't know if you can see that. Hold on, let me try turning it over. So this is sort of a brass color. And then these rings right here, and this is like a gold color. And then when I looked at this, this is sort of an older, this is an older clasp. So I just figured maybe for $2, it's possible that this is new, right? And maybe somebody Frankenstein this necklace and put, uh, anyway, I'm making this into a big long story. I thought maybe this part was gold is what I'm driving at. Uh, it is not. But anyway, I thought I would take a chance for $2. So, hey, sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. It still is actually a very pretty necklace. You know, I love hearts and I love these bows and I love when jewelry has movement. So this was just a win-win all the way around, but that, that's not real gold. Wah, wah. So this is the last thing I'm going to show you today. This was $4 and this was in a different thrift store and it is sterling, but this has some nice age to it, wouldn't you think? I love crescent moons like this. I think this is just so pretty. And this is abalone shell. So thank you so much for coming to my jewelry haul video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down below. Give me a thumbs up if you want. And subscribe to the channel, please, if you want to see more videos like this. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you so much for coming today. Cheers.